Welcome to Trading Lounge and the US stocks for the 9th of September. So this first particular stock here, Cirrus um, Therapeutics, is a late stage clinical um, biotechno biotechnology company. Um, yeah, basically working with a wide range of diseases. So... Um, Obviously, uh, it's had um, a good discovery here at this particular point, as we can see. And we are now working with a pattern that is at the $25 level here, um, which is a medium level. The major level is $20 and $30. So um, I was looking at this as a wave four, and we can look to go long in this, once 25 has become the support. So going from the daily chart to the four hour chart here. Oops, haven't got it labeled here for this, but that's okay. So I'm not too worried about the spike here, but this correction and this top here that I'm looking at, then I'm looking at a five wave sequence here, three wave sequence here, and looking for a five wave sequence here. So I'm looking for more downside to come first, and then we can look at the um, the the, um, the long trade setup across that particular level here. So we need to see the market as support. Just put this in green here. And we're also looking for a classic trading levels pattern. So if this is the $25 area here, even though you may not understand Elliott Wave that well, and it is a tricky little thing, um, but you should be able to work out that um, a market is at resistance. And then the first high above the level is the reference point that you're looking for. And then most of the time, the market will just fold away at that point and, and just fold back into demand and the value buyers will come in and pick it up and then build up support. And eventually on that 25, because that's the the um, the medium level there, you eventually all the orders will build up in there and that becomes the really nice support. And then you use any of these highs to move in long at, at that point. So that's what we're looking for at this stage. But we do have a nice ABC that's unfolding here, but we still need it to to play its part over there for that. Okay, let's move along to the next. So this particular stock here is, um, uh, I think, it, I mean, it's obviously Chinese, but I think it's set up in Hong Kong. So it's an ADR, a depository note. And it was formerly known as Jing Dong um, and called 360 Buy. So it's an e-commerce uh, company now headed now headed up in uh, Beijing. It has uh, two massive B to C online retailers in China. Um, yeah. So look, it's it's basically it's a competitor to Alibaba. Okay. So obviously it's in a powerful trend to the upside and it still has further to go. I should just remove that HK there because it is in Beijing uh, at the moment. So but it's traded on our market. So um, unless unless the US go to war with, uh, with China or whatever they do, um, then we'll just keep continuing to look at this until it's there. But uh, let's go to, the, this is a weekly chart, so let's just go to the daily chart here, pick it up so it's a little bit more. Visible, visible here, so one and two and one and two and one, two, three, four, five, the third wave, fourth wave, and one, two, three, four, five, four, the fifth of the third wave. So we're looking for an ABC pattern that can pull back into this space here, but first of all, it really needs to let go of the 80 there, a bit of a sticky number, but it has moved down and it has gone back up and tested it. So it's done all the right things for uh, a bear market as such. So it's come through the 80, gone back up and tested, and it's about sitting here now. It's not that we're going to short this, but um, it's just rejecting that level at this particular point in uh, in time. It hasn't rejected it on higher volume, so it's still a bit sticky. So, 
you can see that the move down through here is on lower volume than the move to the upside. So that really, there may be more to that just uh, at this point because this one here has got volume in it. This one's got less volume, so it's probably corrective. So there's still more to be had there. But either way, we can just allow this to play out uh, further because it's not, it's not set up for us just yet. I like to see a correction. I like to have a correction. Um, and then move in because of that that correction is is also the accumulation process. So we need that. This market can pull back down to here. Um, let's just see if it finds support on top here. Then we'll look for long trades. It's as simple as that. But at this stage, that's where it is. Okay, let's move on to the next stock. So this particular stock here, this is a weekly chart, and this is a Californian. Um, uh, company, uh, so it's into uh, weapons and undermanned systems, satellite communication, cyber and security, um, microwave and missile defense, and so on and so on. Um, so the thing I like about this is the pattern that it's got here for this. <clears throat> so to me, so far, this is a corrective pattern, and this top should be taken out here. What I qu quite don't understand is is this pattern moving up through here. I can see that this is corrective, so I can see that we'll get, um, it may drop a bit further, but uh, it's corrective, so even if it does drop, it will eventually pop to the upside and then come back and test it here. And that's kind of what we're looking for, is that test on that level of 20, which is a major trading level, and then we can go from that point. Um, as I mentioned, I don't quite understand this, I just need to, um, this is a daily chart now, <clears throat> So I just need to ponder this. Because when I count just from here, I can count down one and two here and three here and four here and then one and two and three and four and five to finish on this low here rather than this one. So I just need to do a bit of homework on this one. I just need to settle because it just doesn't count very well here. Um, even if I counted this as one and two here, it still leaves the third wave here rather short so I just got to get I, it doesn't so it hasn't jumped out at me so I'm just going to leave it there's other parts of the trend I understand like one and two one and two in here and three here and four here and and moving up here in the fifth way but still once again as I mentioned we need that um I won't label it until I till I've spent time with it and understand it but we don't have a setup here yet that's point that I'm wanting to make here so uh, let this do what it d does but when you know even when it pops up it's got it it's got to see these all of these here are where it's tried to get up and has and hasn't held there so we would go long above that would go long above that would go long above that uh, go long above it just never came up so we need that first high and that second high as our classic trading levels pattern to go long on so it's not there yet but the two takeaways here are that this is definitely a wave two in here so we will be going up higher i just want the right setup sitting on here i don't want to buy here and see it fail from that point it may not fail from that point but it's just an unnecessary risk okay let's move on to so this is also a weekly chart and this stock is called Materialize and this is already being this is one of the this was in the first bunch of stocks that we would that I was doing um, but I'm just putting it in sort of alphabetical order based on um, based on the stock code um, uh, MTLS um, and of course this one here as I've mentioned before um, is into 3D printing and we caught this about here somewhere we've got portfolio hold on this at 26 dollars um and it's moved up i'm just showing the bigger picture here again and just going to the daily chart uh here for this there's different ways of counting uh all of this um but once again um, I know the trend is still to the upside. I could put wave four here, and that means that this would be wave one here and two here and three here. So then this becomes, copy this, this becomes wave three here. But either way, what I wanted to point out here would be looking for some sort of A, B and C correction here. This is the support at the wave four of one lesser degree. But we still need that first, we need we need a classic trading level. We need that first high above this level here. We could buy it back down through here, but we just need to um, 
have the right uh, feel about it at this stage. So um, I won't get involved in it yet because what I really want to do with a lot of these stocks that, well, f on the on the New York S&P or, or the NASI or whatever, we want to really understand the current move down here on those indices before we make a start buying low on these stocks here because as I've mentioned uh, quite a few times, there's different situations where we can have a high in and there's a situation where we can have wave three in here as well. So if it's wave three here, then wave four will pull back to the wave four of one lesser degree. But I don't want to go by on here yet because I don't have any evidence of an impulse wave to the upside. And I don't have a clear um, you know, ABC pattern here as well. So things can move lower and um, I just want to be clear on them first. So that's sort of where we are with, with this one here at the moment. Let's move on to the... So uh, Lincoln Electricals, uh, this is um, a weekly chart here and I haven't labelled it. But you know, if we line it up with the S&P 500, we've been looking at this as wave three here, an A and a B and a C wave for wave four here. And like the S&P, it has moved up and taken out its high here just. Um, so we're trying to figure out with the S&P what, uh, what, what move we have with this. This is actually traded on the NASDAQ. Um, and it's involved in... in uh, in, in, in welding equipment uh, and consumables and plasma and oxy fuel cutting equipment and robotics and uh, just basically welding systems. So uh, it's uh, looking quite good in compared to the COVID that it's had. So we need to understand this particular trend here. So for us, though, we as a trade, it's a little bit pointless trading at its old highs here, really. We need to see a correction here or we need to see this um, sitting on the 100 here as a as a as a support so we could say that I'll just draw it over here we come up here we have some sort of reaction here we move up here we have an A and a B and a C wave here and then we can go along over at this point here but in the meantime this may do anything back here so if it does do something back into this space here then we can pick it up from there if we understand the pattern if I understand the pattern then I'll say that but let's just go to the daily chart here and from the COVID uh, March lows here there's one thing we can do here I can count I'll just go over, I'll sh just explain my problem we've got one and two and three and four and five here that's very clear and then an ABC here so we can call that wave one or wave two here now this move up through here um, I can't call it wave three here because if I call this wave four here then it's really overlapping that here <clears throat> but we may have to do that. I'm not quite sure, you know. But if I was following the Elliott rules, then I would need to call that wave one and two here. And then I could call this wave one and two or three and four here. But the same thing occurs here. We've got wave four here overlapping wave one here. Well, it will. So the 38.2% retracement level from two to three here is here. So there's a couple of issues with this. Um, so let's just wait for this to unfold into this space a little bit further here on the four hour chart. We can see, move this out of the way here. We've got our trading level, so 80. So one, two, three, five, and eight. And then we go back to one again, the power of one. So 100, 200, 300, 500, one, two, three, five, eight, again. Um, so 90 is a medium level. And that's where the market's coming down to at the moment. So it's pretty much in line with the rest of the world. So we'll just allow it to Uh, unfold until we can actually see it. With corrections, it's not a good idea to make decisions um, early in the piece. It's much better to make decisions, trading decisions, later in the correction because it matures more and then you can get more information about it and, and so on and have a safer trade with it. We need to be mindful of things. So if we took this, for example, this looks like a little bit of a version 
of this one here. So with this one here, it came down and had a few overlapping wave structures, and then it had the move up here like this. So that means that we could go long above here. Now, it's not the perfect trade, but it's because we didn't get the bottom, is say, but it's above the level. We've got an impulse wave, we've taken out the high, and we're on our way. So we could view it like something like, it'll be something like that. So it's just not completed just yet. So I can see different ways of counting this. I could put I could put this a, wave A here. I could put it over here with the B wave over here for that. Um, but I'm not that interested in doing anything with this just yet. We're just looking at this stock and this is one that uh, will stay in the list. Alrighty, let's move along to the next stock. Mercado Libra, I think it's pronounced. Um, it's really pushing off here nicely. This is actually an Argentine uh, company incorporated in the United States and it's dedicated to e-commerce and online auctions. So um, from the COVID, this is a weekly chart by the way, so the COVID low here we can see that you know it's moved up just as high as uh, Tesla has. So certainly a, a fantastic stock in that regard. Now that said, let's just go to the daily chart because we're working with 1000 here now, which is just trading level one. So I can count this up here as five, as, as quite a nice clean five waves up here. So what we're really looking for is we're looking for a trade set up to go long, um, but we don't know how far the correction will come back at this particular stage. So we just need to allow it to come back and then we'll look at everything in that in that regard. We can look at this as an A wave here, a B wave here, and a C wave into this space here, and that would be one and two and three and well, four and five. We're gonna to go to the four hour chart and just check on that a bit further. Okay, we're already there with that. So it's possible to count this as the A wave here, the B wave here, then one and two here, five waves down here for the third, the fourth, and the fifth wave yet to make a new low here. So um, that could be the end of it, but it may not be either. So we just really need to wait for this. Um, yeah, before we, before we, uh, I mean, first of all, it should come down lower here. The thing is, is that you no know, market would normally come down, have a bounce off such a number, which it has done here, back to number one again, strong number obviously, <coughs> and then if it pushes down here and locks under here at this point, this is what I need to wait for um, because it can just travel down further from that point. But we need to see this pattern here. We need to see we need to see one of these bear um, patterns that come into place. It could be like that, could be like that, and what's this one here? It could be like that. You can stop and have a look at those, but it's pretty one way or another, we need to see if it's going to be locked under here because if it locks under the thousand then uh then we'll see it drop back um even further so we'll see it down normally i see these things that uh the distance above here will be the distance below as a bit of a rule of thumb so it'll take us down into the 800 area here so we just really need to see where this is going to play out from here uh, if we see a nice impulse wave that's making, you know, a nice setup over here, well then, of course, we'll go along from that. But uh, in the meantime, this needs to finish off here for this. And the last stock that we're looking at was also on our original list, and that's Microsoft. So we'll just go back to the daily chart here for a moment. Now... I've been counting this up in two ways. I can put that up there. What's the daisy? It's on 30. That's the top. It's just kind of, this is hindsight, but it's kind of interesting. If this market had found support on top of 30, number three here, the 230, which is a top of minor group one, this is a major level. Then we've got one, two, three. This, this, this group one here is has done its job. Its job really is what I normally find it creates the first high above the level and it keeps there. If the number three here becomes the tested support, then it then it's going to go up at that point and leave the closest number. 
closest largest number. So in this case, we are seeing um, it pull back here doing part of its correction. Now, it could be that I have this um, count right and we have three, four, five as one here. And we have an A and a B and a C back for, for wave two at this point, right? Um, but the other thing that I've been looking at and I've got it on the tick chart here is we have the, and it's probably even more valid than this actually, but uh, one step at a time. So on the tick chart here, <clears throat> because it's the older stock we had in the first batch, I've done a lot of intraday work on all of this, so I'll just squash it in here. So we have, I'll just get a bit more in there if I can. So from this wave four here, we looked at this being wave one and two here, and then one, two, three, four, five for one there. And if you've got a keen eye, we've got one, two, three, four, five for one and two here, then one and two and three and four and five for three and four and five to make blue wave three, ABC for four here. And this got a bit dodgy down here, but one and two and three and four, and then an extension in the fifth wave up through to here with five waves in this structure here. Um, so if it is this wave three here that I was discussing here in this case, at the top, instead of having wave five here, it's wave three. And then we can look at this being wave four here. So wave four, we'll pull back to the wave four of one lesser degree, which is on the 200 area through here. So we need to, uh, we need to be a little bit mindful that we could have a low in. But of course, we don't want to move forward without understanding the NASDAQ on all of these. You know, it's a little bit, you know, the money's in the turn, but so is the risk. So you could buy off the 200 here, looking at an impulse wave down here and a B wave back to this point, and then looking for a C wave down, which is just obviously wave one here. So it still has more to, to move down here. There's no rush for this. And, you know, I like to gather evidence. So I want to see this complete. And this may just get even bigger than this as well. So I wouldn't pay too much attention to my ABC wave four thing just here just yet, because I don't know if that's real just yet. I need to, I need, I need to see, I just need to see more, you know, what I do need to see to tell me it's finished. I need to see, if I need to, I can't draw on this side. I do need to see one, two, three, four, five to the upside. I need a nice clean impulse wave to the upside. Then I can say to myself, well, that structure's finished. Now, what does that structure look like? How does that compare with the NASI? How does that compare with other stocks? Um, and I don't have that information yet. So we just need to be chilled in the first leg that's moving down in all of these. So um, just coming back to the four hour chart where I've probably got, um, um, yeah, I've got it as three and five here for this. So we'll just, we'll just chill. We'll just see what's what. Um, yeah, I mean, I would like to see it come, what I would like to see and what I get are two different things, of course, but I would like to see it come down and have some sort of clear pattern here so, and then come back and find support. That would be nice. But um, sometimes they just come straight down and pop back up and then they're off again. So we just need to be careful about that too. So still, we need that impulse wave in, in one way or another. So there's a few things that can occur here. Um, and like I said, just we'll just... Uh, continue to watch the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ and once we've once I've got that sorted out then seeing seeing that will help with all of these sets all, all, all the stocks that you see coming down then that will be helpful because you know that we're, we're moving up at that at that point there Alrighty, um, that's all of those stocks. So um, I did two videos today because I missed out one on Tuesday I think it was. Was it yesterday? Yeah, anyway, gets all mixed up. But um, so now I'm all caught up for three this week at Wednesday. So thanks for tuning in. Cheers.